Berlin, a city known for its vibrancy, its art, its history. Now a different story unfolds. An elderly woman, her life forever altered by a shocking assault in broad daylight. The heart of the city feels a tremor of fear, a chill that seeps into daily life. But even in the darkness, a spark of resilience remains. Berliners known for their spirit begin to gather to support, to demand justice. The assault, a brutal act of violence, has left its mark on the city's soul. Questions linger in the air, a heavy fog of disbelief. How could this happen? And in such a familiar place, the park, once a sanctuary of peace and joy, now echoes with the memory of the crime. But the city, like a resilient oak, begins to heal. Branches reach out, seeking solace and strength in unity. The woman, her identity shielded, becomes a symbol, a symbol of vulnerability, of the random nature of violence, but also a symbol of strength. Her story, though shrouded in pain, ignites a fire in the hearts of Berliners, a fire that refuses to be extinguished by fear. Instead, it burns with determination, a determination to seek justice, to heal and to reclaim their city. The attack serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of peace, the ever-present potential for darkness to encroach upon everyday life. Yet in the face of this tragedy, Berliners find strength in unity. They gather not just to mourn, but to rebuild, to show that fear will not reign, that compassion and resilience will light their way forward. The road to recovery will be long, but the first steps have been taken, fueled by the unwavering spirit of a city determined to heal. The park, once a tapestry of laughter and birdsong, now holds its breath. The vibrant hues of blooming flowers seem muted. The playful barks of dogs are touch more subdued. A nervous energy hangs in the air, invisible yet palpable. The attack, a crack in the foundation of their peaceful haven, has left its mark. The elderly, who once strolled without a care, now clutch their bags a little tighter, their eyes scanning the surroundings with newfound vigilance. Parents, their faces etched with concern, keep a watchful eye on their children, their laughter now a bit more subdued. The rhythm of the park, once carefree and relaxed, has shifted. Whispers of the assault travel on the breeze, carried from bench to bench, shared in hushed tones. Fear, like a chilling wind, sweeps through the park, leaving a residue of unease in its wake. The sense of safety, once an unspoken promise of the park's embrace, feels shaken, vulnerable. But even fear cannot completely extinguish the indomitable spirit of the community. Amidst the apprehension, acts of kindness and solidarity begin to bloom. Neighbors, once strangers, now exchange knowing glances, a silent acknowledgement of the shared fear and the unspoken vow to look out for one another. The park, though wounded, begins to heal, drawing strength from the resilience of its people. The new cycle moves on, hungry for the next sensation, but the impact of the assault lingers, a heavy weight on the hearts of those affected. The woman, her life irrevocably altered, navigates a new reality, grappling with the physical and emotional scars of that day. Her story, a stark reminder that behind the headlines, behind the statistics, lie real lives forever changed. Her family and friends, their world turned upside down, rally around her, offering unwavering support and love, yet they too bear the invisible wounds of the assault. The fear, the anger, the helplessness, a tangled knot of emotions they must unravel together. Their journey, one of resilience and healing, will be long and arduous. The impact extends beyond the immediate circle of their victim, seeping into the fabric of the community. The feeling of safety, once a given, now comes with conditions. The elderly especially are left grappling with a heightened sense of vulnerability, their golden years now tinged with fear. The assault, a stark reminder of the fragility of life, leaves an imprint on the collective psyche of the community. Yet even in the face of such adversity, the human spirit finds a way to shine through. Acts of kindness, small but significant, begin to emerge. Neighbors checking in on one another, offering a helping hand, a listening ear. The community, though wounded, rediscovers the power of human connection, finding solace and strength in shared experiences. The road to healing may be long, but with each act of compassion, each step towards justice, they move forward together. Echoes of resilience, a community's embrace. 
The community, shaken to its core, responds with a resounding wave of support for the elderly woman. Flowers, their vibrant colors symbolizing hope and healing, flood the hospital where she recovers. Cards filled with heartfelt messages of love and encouragement pour in, each one a testament to the compassion that binds the community together. The park, once a place of fear and uncertainty, becomes a focal point for healing. Residents gather, their faces etched with both sadness and determination, Candles flicker, casting a warm glow on the faces of strangers united in their shared grief and outrage. They share stories, offer comfort, and find strength in their collective voice. Volunteers, their hearts filled with compassion, step forward to offer assistance. They organize neighborhood watch programs, their presence a visible deterrent against future acts of violence. They offer to accompany the elderly on errands, restoring a sense of safety and independence. These acts of kindness, however small, begin to mend the fabric of the community, stitching together the threads of trust and solidarity. The assault, a stark reminder of the darkness that can lurk in the shadows, has inadvertently ignited a beacon of light. The community, far from being defeated, has emerged stronger, more united. The outpouring of support for the victim, the determination to reclaim their park, the countless acts of kindness, all serve as a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, the power of compassion to heal and to inspire hope. A call for change from fear to action. The assault on the elderly woman, a tragedy that shook the city, serves as a wake-up call. It compels us to look beyond the headlines, to confront the uncomfortable realities of violence in our society. It demands a collective introspection, a critical examination of the systems that allow such acts to occur. It is a call to action, a plea for justice, for prevention, for a society where vulnerability does not equate to danger. We must address the root causes of violence, tackling issues like social isolation, ageism and the normalization of aggression. We must invest in social services, create safe spaces for seniors and foster intergenerational connections. Education plays a vital role, teaching empathy, respect and conflict resolution from a young age. Law enforcement agencies must receive adequate resources and training to respond effectively to crimes against the elderly. The justice system should hold perpetrators accountable while ensuring that victims receive the support and resources they need to heal. But true change goes beyond law enforcement. It requires a societal shift in attitudes and behaviors, the resilience of the victim, the unwavering support of the community, the countless acts of kindness. These are the embers of hope that can ignite a movement for lasting change. Let us honor their strength by transforming our collective grief and outrage into action. Let us build a society where every individual, regardless of age, feels safe, respected and valued. Let this tragedy be a catalyst for creating a safer, more compassionate world for all.